everyone, I'm Judith, food and travel editor of the Gourmet Travelista. Now today, we're getting saucy. That's right, because we are making for you apple saucy pork roast. So what you'll need for this saucy concoction is a four pound boneless pork loin roast, which is tied right here. We have a quarter cup of brown sugar, a quarter cup of apple juice, we have three medium sized apples, which we've cored and cut into wedges. We have two tablespoons of lemon juice. We have two teaspoons of mustard. We have three cloves of garlic, which we've thinly sliced. We have a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of fresh rosemary, which we've chopped, and one teaspoon of salt. Now, first things first, we're gonna get our pork loin right here. And what we want to do is we're going to get cut slits into the loin. So we want to do about four slits. And let's just get our fork and knife to help us. About a half an inch uh, lengthways and about an inch deep. So we can just do that. That's perfect. So we've got one there. One there. There you go. And that's going to keep our pork loin nice and moist. So once you have those slits in there, we can actually fill those slits with our garlic. So get your thin garlic slices. Now if you need to make those holes a little bit bigger, depending on how big your garlic is, you can do that. There we go. Let's put together now our lovely um, seasoning to put on top of that. So just combine your salt, pepper and rosemary. And that is just gonna go on on top of our uh, our pork as a seasoning. So we can just rub that on there, like so. Get the sides in there too. It's gonna make it nice and flavorful. Wonderful, now that's gonna go on our roasting rack. We've preheated the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and that is gonna just cook in our oven now for about one and a half to one and three quarter hours. We'll take it out and we'll get in our apples in there after. Okay, so we've taken our pork roast out of the oven. We've transferred it from the rack onto the base of the roasting pan. That was in there for about an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters. Looking and smelling fabulous. So now it's time to mix together our apple mixture. So let's just put in our apple wedges in there our brown sugar, our lemon juice is gonna go in there. Oh, our juice is in there too, and our mustard. Now that is just gonna give a really sweet taste to our pork. Apples and pork, just delicious together. So we'll stir all that in together. Now we've drained off any excess fat from the bottom of our uh, roasting pan. And all we do now is we'll just spoon our apple mixture around our roast, like so. So we wanna get those apples nice and soft, nice and tender, and it's just gonna go delicious with our pork roast. You can even spoon a little bit of that lovely juice on top and around. <gasps> lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. So that now is ready to go back in the oven for another 30 minutes uncovered. So we've taken our pork roast out of the oven. We've transferred it onto a platter. It was in there for another 30 to 45 minutes with our apples. And as you can see, our apples have turned a lovely golden brown. They've caramelized beautifully with that brown sugar. And that is just gonna be a heavenly taste with our garlic infused, rosemary infused pork roast. So now that's ready to serve, you can slice that up and it should serve about 10, uh, 10 people. And that's perfect. That is your apple saucy pork roast. Thanks for watching today everyone and make sure to subscribe to our website to watch plenty of other fantastic videos. And if you have any email requests, you can email requests at mahalo.com and we'll be sure to answer any questions or queries you might have.